Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where today you join me visiting Hennessy here outside of Houston in Texas and home to some cars that make big, big, big power. We're going to be taking a look at a custom project based on the Dodge Demon as it's put through its paces on their dyno expecting to make around 1,400 horsepower. We'll also take a look at some of their new projects behind me here including the Resurrection based on the Camaro ZL1 1LE. That's a 1,200 horsepower car next to it another thousand horsepower in the maximus based on the jeep gladiator and behind we have hennessy's first hypercar the venom gt that makes 1244 there's a lot of power around here let's have a quick look around at some of these cars before going to check out this demon on the dyno I've just realized how cool this trio of cars actually is. Three very different Hennessy vehicles, the Venom GT, the manual gearbox hyper car, then we have the Maximus, the rugged off-roader, and then the Resurrection, the ultimate muscle car. So the Resurrection follows from their previous model, the Exorcist, based on the Camaro ZL1 1LE, but what they have done is taken the supercharger from the Corvette ZR1, which needs an entire new hood for the car, and gives it a total of 1,000 200 horsepower. So this is just being presented at the time this video goes live at SEMA in Las Vegas. Next to it though, the Maximus, based on the Jeep Gladiator Rubicon, but with the engine from the Hellcat, the 6.2 litre supercharged V8, making a thousand horsepower and raised up eight inches with new suspension. And then in front, the Venom GT, Hennessy's first hypercar, of which they built about 12 or 13 in total. This car's come back to do some development work ahead of the Venom F5, but these actually reached 200 and 70 miles per hour 1244 horsepower only 1200 kilos of weight so more than the magical one to one power to weight ratio and an incredible thing that they actually managed to achieve based on the original platform from a lotus but only about 10 percent of that actually remains the rest almost entirely new twin turbo v8 sounds monstrous and in this kind of camo design looks really cool as well outside here also we've got a few other projects over there they do some tuning as well to the 600 LT and in front of it we have the Goliath 6x6 based on a Chevy pickup also. Quite a few different things then but let's head inside and go find the demon. Inside the showroom here, we have the original concept of the Venom F5, which isn't gonna to be too far away from production now. That's the one that we saw when it was revealed back at Geneva. And alongside it, the Cobra Jet, a car that's straight out of the box from Ford does the nines on the quarter mile. I tell you what though, I am loving those fence poles that they have made from camshafts, conrods, pistons, and brake discs down at the bottom. I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Anyway, let's continue through. This is it then. Listen to that, they have taken off the supercharger, fitted some turbos, you can see down here, and then the exhaust straight out the side. And um, with the cooling fans that are running and the noise of the engine, I'm sorry it is really, really loud, but this is literally going to be pumped through its paces on the dyno run right now. That is a thunderous rumble. you need to represent the airflow going through the car keep it all cool especially when you're putting the power down on the dyno just have a quick look at the work that's been done here we'll come back to that actually in just a moment let's see the results 
here on the screen. A peak of 1,237 brake horsepower, and of course that's at the wheels where you have to count for about a 15% loss through the powertrain, so that's about 1,400 horsepower. That is absolutely nuts. We've also got 1077 foot-pounds of torque. Those numbers are huge. About 1,400 horsepower from the Demon all through the rear wheels. You can see we've got some uh, drag radial tyres actually on the car at the moment, but that thing, you look at it and you would not realise it makes anything like the power that it actually does. And if we come back round, of course I have gone and left one fan on still. Have a little look at these. Have a look at the turbos that you've got up front. The work that's been done, of course, normally the exhaust exit would be down towards the back of the car. It's had to be completely built from the ground up, reworked in just about every way to be able to handle this much power. A proper track animal and beast and weapon in every way, but all new components and these turbos and the pipework that actually comes through down towards them, all fitted right here at the front underneath the headlights. And what a strange view this actually is. Some of the crash structure with the headlights just kind of hanging there, almost looking like eyes. And then this is the exhaust. The exhaust of the car is in front of the front axle. That's quite an unusual setup. And um, as we've seen, making an absolutely monstrous and insane amount of power. But that's an example of the kind of project that Hennessy are doing here, making 1400 horsepower out of that demon. And all of these parts are looking really very cool when you come in close. All the details, the mechanical parts, and um, yeah, insane to be able to hear that. What a noise that it made as well. Here in the workshop then, have a look at this. That's the cab from Maximus, and that is of course the frame with the engine that has now been installed. So like the car that I drove, this is literally the Hellcat engine made to the gearbox. You can see the ladder frame that sits underneath. The pickup bed stays at the back, and then the uh, passenger cockpit gets lifted up completely separately. That is actually fascinating. Of course, this is the stock and original front end for the Maximus, all uh, being worked on and converted. Now, Hennessy do a lot of work on pickups and trucks, as you can see. And in fact, if we come past the Mustang here, straight to this Raptor, normally the Raptor has a 3.5 litre EcoBoost V6, like the Ford GT. This this Raptor has a 5 litre V8 that has been installed. The Ford V8 has been put into the Raptor, which of course is something a lot of people rather like out of it. So that is, well, a complete conversion basically to have the new engine. From the exterior though, it largely looks familiar. Of course, different wheels to normal Raptor and different looking lights as well. That actually looks really cool, the super stealthed outlook. No colour, just all grayscale, black paint, menacing Ford Velociraptor. V8. Velociraptor, of course, Hennessy's name. They love the names and they do some incredible ones. As you've heard, Exorcist, uh, Resurrection, Velociraptor. These are good names for these kind of cars. Popped back outside because I thought we should hear the resurrection. So we are joined by Alex from Hennessy. Hey, Dan. Good. How are you? Very good. Very it's good. It's nice to have you back. Thank you very much. My ears are still recovering from the noise of the demon. But can we take a listen to this? Yes, this thing is wicked. So we need to be quite careful with the car because this is ahead of SEMA where this is actually being presented, which is why we can't go and kind of drive it hard or anything. But... Whoa! Whoa! That's, that sounds like proper kind of... Like... Yeah, it does, it does. This is the follow-up to the Exorcist. Your names are so good. I know. You can thank John Hennessy for that one. <laughs> the sound of that. That is loud. Old school V8. Walker Scramble. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds angry. This thing sounds like pure anger. Pure, pure, pure anger. Wow. Alright, that, that sounds okay, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty wild. So you guys are getting the inside scoop. Uh, this is unreleased as of the time of this yeah. video, but this is the follow-up to the Hennessy Exorcist, which originally was built to fight the demon, uh, and now the demon is no more. Not really, uh, but the resurrection is here, <laughs> and it is here with a vengeance. 1,200 horsepower. Um, we offer it in the non-1LE version as well, but the 1LE okay. version looks extra mean. This is yeah. the automatic 10-speed version. Um, a couple of key features 
It does have the LT5 supercharger equipped, which is a very phenomenal supercharger. Um, but besides that, uh, we had a custom hood piece made, um, carbon fiber and everything, to fit the hood, which mm -hmm. took a long time, but we're excited to show you guys. We're gonna have a quick look at this then, one of your Velociraptors. This is a special Velociraptor. It's actually one of our Velociraptor V8s. We've built just over 20 of these, and it has a genuine four to five liter V8 with a supercharger producing 750 horsepower. <laughs> uh, and it, it is a genuine generation two Raptor. So check out how this thing sounds. <laughs> that cheeky startup from the key as well. Yeah. We can't do that over in Europe. Yeah, proper V8 instead of the uh, EcoBoost V6. We are going to climb on board and it has just got really very windy. Let's open the door carefully. Work in progress, so step on in over some of the parts. There we go. All right then. Ah, oh, you can hear that grumble. Yeah, that's what we like. V8, baby. American horsepower. Is this something a lot of people talk about with new Raptors having the V6s? Definitely. We get, uh, well, before we started the V8 Raptor program, we would get calls all the time about, hey, I, I love the Raptor, but I don't want a V6. And, yeah. you know, we finally listened to the people and we dove headfirst into the R&D project that was the V8 Raptor. And it took a lot of time. Uh, to make all the electronics work, it took a lot of time and energy. Um, but we figured it out and we have the perfect recipe. Everything works exactly uh, as factory. All the drive modes, all the, mm -hmm. the traction control, everything works oh, really? exactly like factory. Um, like the Gen 2 Raptor with the V6, but we have the V8 and the sound is just like... Yeah. It sounds like that. Uh, and it gets a move on as well. Yeah. So we've built just over 20 of these. Um, each customer wants theirs a little bit different. So this this one is a two door. It has HREs with six piston Brembos uh, and a, a you know a bed cover. So it looks really cool. Um, and they're just amazing trucks. We love the V6s too. We've modified over almost 200 of the V6s uh, with the 600 horsepower Velociraptor package. So um, this is some of our bread and butter right here. So you're gonna stick a V8 in a 4 GT? Uh, well, we thought about it. Um, funny enough, I think the 4 GT is one of my exceptions. I think the 4 GT sounds amazing with the V6. Yeah. Uh, you know, a V8 is always awesome, but I think that car is borderline perfect, but I wouldn't mind an extra 200 horsepower. Yeah, I think it might be a bit of a squeeze to stick a V8 yeah. into the teardrop cabin as well. <laughs> This is a 10 speed. 10 speed, I was gonna say, when yeah, it reaches the red light, it only drops about 500 RPM. We're fast and the furious. Yeah, constantly. Tons of gears. Yeah, tons of gears and unlimited runway. Unfortunately, not quite so unlimited here, but. And then big Brembo's to stop. Oh, okay. It's ridiculous. Yeah, need the big brakes with a big car like this. This is very, uh, I've said a few times at the entrance where you have the sign that says everything is bigger and faster in Texas. It's true. Yeah, our billboard is pretty awesome. I, will, <laughs> I do have to say that. And it quite accurately represents things like this. Exactly. <laughs> bigger and faster. Well, this thing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Got to do it again with the door open. Let's hear it. <laughs> that sounds so ferocious. That thing's just angry. Yep, Hennessy rocking the crazy, crazy, crazy projects and so many. I mean, from the Demon inside to uh, the ZL1s to this. Sounds nuts from outside. Yeah, they're, they're totally wild. Resurrection comes inside then. The updated Camaro with the new looks. I've actually been a big fan of. <laughs> That sounds insane, but just the muscle cars, the SUVs, the pickup trucks, 
the whole variety and then that demon down at the end they do a 1000 horsepower 1200 horsepower uh, package already for the demon and then introduce the 1400 um, for this car and i have to say that that demon when he when it was started oh, running earlier gosh yeah it's ridiculous on the dyno Whoa! Another ZL1. It's that time of day of just endless star stunts. And I'm going to come around the back. That's a Hellcat. That's a 1000 horsepower Hellcat. Clearly, Hellcat logo, HPE 1000. So you can either have a Demon to 1000 or a Hellcat to 1000 or a Demon to 1200. Um, but of course, a few differences from factory. The Hellcat 707, the Demon is 808 horsepower. But out here, it is all about being bigger, faster, more powerful, and louder. As you can see from some of the various cars that are around. Well, that's been a very fun visit to Hennessy today. To see and hear the noises of the demon on the dyno, to also see the new Resurrection, which has been presented now over at SEMA on some of the other cars, and the variety of cars that are around, and plenty of epic noises. So do go follow Hennessy, links are down below if you're not already. A big thanks to them though for hosting my visit today, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. That's it for now though, I'll see you again very soon. Cheers!